Hi angels, welcome back to another resin video. Sorry about all of the noise in the background. I think it's the AC or the furnace, something is making a ton of noise. But let's get straight into this video. In this video, we're gonna be making a resin briefcase or resin purse, handbag, because it does have handbag in the description. I got the handbag from Amazon. The flowers are from Amazon as well. And the foil sheet that we're gonna be using She's a fairy, so cute. I got that from Etsy's, I get it. I need to cut off all the extra piece that's on there. It is silver, so I'm just gonna go around it with my, sil with my scissors. Everything that we're gonna be using in this video, I'll leave a link for it down in the description box down below. And I'm gonna be using my lighter to get rid of any bubbles that might appear. You know, there's always like one or two that always pops up. But this is how the foil sheet, foil sheet looks. I've already used a, I think I used a light blue one in a different project before. So if you guys watched that video, that's why it looks the same because I bought two in two different colors. So yeah, this is how it's looking. You can see that it's very big. The reason why I chose this is because the foil sheet is huge. I tried to make it into a purse with other stuff, but it just wasn't fitting. So the molds that I had was very small. So I just ordered this from Amazon and it worked out perfectly well perfect size honestly so as always i mix up my resin off camera i'm not and now i'm just pouring in there a little bit of some resin and i'm just spreading it all around do, 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 do. looking good going over it with my lighter to get rid of any little tiny bubbles there's a couple of tiny bubbles in there voila and now we can just pop on in there the foil sheet. Look at her with her afro and her wings. So the silver side is the top side and the black is the is the back. So I'm just checking to make sure that I actually place the silver size, the silver part down into the resin. And now I'm just pressing down on it with my finger to make sure that all the little tiny bubbles underneath it can just rise to the top. You have to push it and let the bulb and let the resin cover it up completely. So that's what I'm doing right there. Looking good. And now I can start placing on in there all of my pink dry pressed flowers. <laughs> I accidentally flipped over the flowers. You guys saw that I already took it out of the package. So I accidentally knocked it over. So it was all on the floor. So I had to be picking it up. Making sure that there's no hair, any dust or anything on there before I placed it into the resin. So I had to be double checking. Now I'm just making sure to go all around the edges with the flowers so that it can fill in all of the little space that we have right there. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And that's pretty much it. You can see that I'm just taking my little sweet time because the resin, I just mixed the resin so I had enough time to place down the flowers just the way how I wanted everything to look. There was no need to rush, rush the process. And when you're placing down the flowers, make sure to press down on the flowers so that the resin can cover it just like what we did with the foil sheets. Dun -dun -dun -dun. More flowers all the way around. We're not gonna use the entire flowers that we have, but we're gonna be using majority of it. So all of the pink one, we gotta make sure that we just pop it on in there. Make sure that they're facing the right direction. And that looks good so far. Now it's time to go on in there with some of my greens. She's an earth fairy, so that's why we're going with a ton of flowers. I'm making sure that the resin cover up the foil sheet completely. Just going around it with a little bit and some tiny flowers. 
Right now I'm just adding on there the final touches to make sure that it looks, still looks good. Dun, dun, dun. Actually, it looks so good so far. I'm pretty happy with the way you have this turned out. I had this foil sheet just sitting around for months, trying to figure out what I could use it for. So, finally, the excitement is over. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. Dun, 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 dun. After this, I'm gonna go on in there with a little bit of some holographic glitter. And we're just gonna let this sit and cure for a full 24 hours. We'll let this sit overnight. And then we can add on in there the second and the final layer of resin. I've used this holographic glitter before in a ton of different projects. Just sprinkle on there a little bit. Not a lot, we don't wanna be overpowering everything. But obviously we do want it to be shine in a little space that's where i'm going to be adding on there the glitter all up in the corners in between the flowers <laughs> sprinkle sprinkle <laughs> and also i decided to add on in there a little bit of some gold flakes the gold flakes are from amazon as well i think this is the first one that i've ever bought I still have like so much in there. Gold, gold, gold. At this point, the resin is starting to get thick, so you already know that the resin is starting to harden. So I'm trying to be quick with it. And while doing this, there was some bubbles that was rising. I was like, no, all the bubbles get trapped underneath there. So after this, I actually did went over it again with my lighter, just in case if I miss any bubbles. <laughs> Gold flakes. Here's a close-up of how it looks. It has been 24 hours. That's how it's looking. I didn't want to leave it just the way how it is because it just looks so plain and so simple. So what I did was I mixed up some confetti glitter and I mixed up some white pigment as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour it in there a little bit of the confetti glitter and just spread it all around so it's not just sitting in one specific area. Going over the flowers, going over the four sheets. Just making sure you don't miss any spots because I want it to look very, very pretty. Make sure she's covered up perfectly, which she was. So that's a win win. Making sure that I'm not wasting no resin. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to go over it with my lighter. The confetti glitter always have some air bubbles in there, some little bubbles that's always trapped when I need it. So just went over it with my lighter. And this is a pigment that I mix up off camera. I'm just gonna be pouring it on there. And I'm just gonna let this sit and cure it overnight as well. And can you believe it? I mix the exact amount that is needed. I was worried that this would probably be like, maybe a little bit too much, but Look at me. Just looking at it, I could tell exactly what it needed. <laughs> it's a perfect measurement on my end. Yay! So I'm just spreading around the resin to make sure they cover up all the flowers. Everything is covered up. There's no space. And we're going to go over it with my lighter. Just to get rid of any little tiny bubbles or big bubbles. After a few hours, there was some bubbles around some of the flowers. I just used my lighter to just get rid of it and it was perfectly fine. So I guess it's a win-win. And it looks good already. 
So it has been 24 hours. This is how it looks. My handprint is all over this. So I need to like wipe it down. But this is how it's looking. It looks amazing. The back of it looks pretty good. Now it's time to flip it over so that you guys can see how this turned out. You can just lock it. And voila! This is how she looks. She looks so pretty. I love the wings. I love her afro. Like everything about it is so cute. And it's just, it has the handles, the handles on it. The confetti looks so good. It's glistening in the sun exactly what I wanted because I wanted her to be shining. This looks so good. There's some little tiny bubbles in there underneath some of the flowers, but other than that, it wasn't like a big deal. It looks pretty cool. The other thing about it was I was trying to look at it like, is this the silver side or is this the black side? Did I mess up on it? But I think I put it on there perfectly. It should be looking silver. So let me know in the comments if it looks more silver or black. But this is how it looks. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. It honestly turned out perfectly. This is my favorite foil sheet that I've ever ordered. Like it's giving black girl magic and I love it. So pretty. I'm gonna use this to organize some stuff or I can take it to concerts, whichever way works. Because she looks perfect. One side has designs on it. The other side is just nice and clear so you can see whatever I put in there. But yeah, it looks so perfect. <laughs> 